<laughs> I want to show you an excerpt directly from my dream job program. This is one of my favorite techniques. If you have ever heard of my briefcase technique, this is at the same level. This has gotten me job offers. It has helped me build relationships with best-selling authors, Olympic trainers, all kinds of people. It is ridiculously powerful, utterly simple, something that we should all be doing, but we're not. Now what this is, it's called the closing the loop technique. And if you've ever wondered, how can I get mentorship from someone? How can I meet these VIPs? Why would they even want to take 15 minutes to talk with me? This will show you not only why, but it'll show you exactly what to say. The exact word for word scripts that you can use to meet VIPs, build relationships, help them and actually use the word natural networking, that sleazy word that everyone thinks is so dirty, actually make it the most positive, authentic experience that you've had. This is just one example of the proven techniques you'll find in my dream job program. Take a look at the closing the loop technique. This is an extremely powerful technique that can help you land dream jobs using the help of other people. And since so few people do this, it is even more powerful. It's called the closing the loop technique. I'd like to share it with you. Here's how it works. In the course of your search for a dream job, you're going to be meeting a lot of people. Instead of just sitting at your computer and rifling off resumes left and right, you're actually going to be talking to real people, doing informational interviews, taking people out to coffee, that kind of thing. Now, what happens with most people once they take someone out to coffee or do an informational interview? Nothing. They might send them a thank you note, but that's the end of that. Not for you. Here's how you're going to use the closing the loop technique. So first of all, right after the meeting, you're going to send them a thank you note. Thanks so much. I really value your time. I appreciate you coming out to meet me. Uh, and by the way, the one thing that really surprised me was X, Y, Z. Here you're making a specific reference to something that you talked about so that it's clear you're not just sending a form letter. It's a personal letter showing that you actually care. Great. One week later, you send a note and this email or this note is totally focused on them. You simply say something like, hey, I thought uh, you might like this based on what we talked about. Hope things are going well. Take a look and I'll talk to you soon. For example, if it's someone in the environmental field, you might say, oh, you know, saw this thing on CNN.com and thought you might be really interested in it. Some note about a revolutionary environmental device. Okay. The beauty of this message is that it's totally focused on them. You're not asking for anything, but what you are doing is you're showing you were paying attention at the meeting and they are at the top of your mind. You're focused on them. Now, one week later, this is what you do and this is the beauty. You go in and you say, you know, I just wanted to give you a quick update. When we first met, uh, you mentioned A and I wanted to let you know that I did A and here's the results I got. You also mentioned B that I should go out and check out ABC and I did that and here's the results I got. So thank you so much. I'm going to keep following up on what you told me to. And by the way, as you know, I am looking for a few jobs in the environmental field. If you happen to know of anyone I should talk to, I would love to talk to them. Thanks so much. Have a great one. Done. Now the closing the loop technique is beautiful because um, most people never follow up. So you've instantly separated yourself there. Most people never actually do something that people say. People come to me for advice all the time. They never actually do what I say. And then most people never go back and tell them that they did it and tell them what the results were. Busy people, the kind of people who you're going to be getting advice from, love, love, love when someone does what they say and that person follows up with them. Because you're doing this, the result is going to be you are at the top of their mind. Now these busy people, they see a lot of job offers. A lot of their friends who are senior people at other companies come to them and say, hey, I'm in a bind. Do you know anyone who would be a great environmental engineer? I need to hire someone tomorrow. Well, yes. As a matter of fact, I've been talking to this young man. He's been sending me these great emails. I think you should talk to him. This has worked for me. I've gotten jobs through this. I've also gotten national press using this technique. This has also worked for a lot of other people who I have gotten jobs for simply because they were at my top of mind and they followed through. I knew that they had a bias for action and so I was more than happy to refer them to jobs. I see a lot of job opportunities and pass them their way because they implemented the closing the loop technique. This is a powerful technique. Use it with care.